This year is the deadline for China to eradicate absolute poverty. There are less than a couple of hundred days left. So why am I stood here with this device? And what does it have to do with the world's biggest poverty alleviation campaign? This is Xinhua Special. Seven years ago, shy of 100 million people in China lived on less than one US dollars a day, many of them in remote rural areas. But at the same time, China had become the second largest economy in the world. This uneven distribution of China's development was to become one of the motivators behind a statement that would change the lives of millions across the country, that no one should be left behind. Earlier this week and hundreds of kilometres away from our Beijing studio, villagers preparing to live stream agricultural products were joined by somebody usually more associated with the political stage than a marketing platform. Tucked away in the Qingling Mountains, Jinmi is the sort of community that could have easily been left behind. The combination of a local sought-after black fungus and the ease of selling online, however, means these products are available to buy in all four corners of the country. Whilst in Shanxi, she commented on the power of e-commerce in helping rural residents leave poverty behind and help rejuvenate the countryside. Indeed, these tools and exposure have already proven vital to communities like this one. Apart from e-commerce, relocation is another way to help people that live in poverty due to their isolation. People like Wang Xiangping's family, who welcomed the president into their home. Kanbin Wang's new community is home to 1,346 households that have been relocated from remote, dangerous or poor areas across the town. Providing these new families with jobs, she said, was a top priority as stable lives depend on job security. Wang and his wife have become home renovators, and last year they took home 40,000 yuan, more than enough to cover their son's college fees. This is not the president's first trip to Shanxi. In 2015, he was in Liangjiehe village in Yan'an, which was where, 50 years earlier, as a city youth sent to the countryside, he experienced poverty firsthand. Last year, Yan'an received official recognition for having none of its residents living under the poverty line. How is China improving the lives of those that live in abject poverty across the country? One answer? targeted poverty alleviation, which uses individual plans to offer tailored solutions to those in need. Another is specific policies that reach into every corner of people's lives, from industries to employment and accommodation. The number of people under the poverty line fell drastically from 2012 to 2019, and their incomes shot up too. By the end of this year, China will have lifted about 100 million people out of poverty, 10 years ahead of the goals set in the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development to End Global Poverty. 
No other country has ever lifted so many people out of poverty in such a short amount of time. Another upcoming target is the CPC's first centenary goal, due in 2021. This would see China achieve an economic state, which it calls a moderately prosperous society in all respects. These grand projects are not without their challenges, novel coronavirus being one. The virus has had an enormous impact on people returning to work, the products made by communities to generate income, and the poverty alleviation projects themselves. This calls for more targeted measures and mitigation strategies. She said that China will give priority to supporting the poverty-stricken workforce in employment and implement a pairing up support mechanism between the West and East regions to help impoverished workers get back to work. Eliminating poverty is not the end point. In fact, it marks the start of a new journey, one that must ensure policies continue to regenerate China's rural areas of making sure that no one is left behind in the process. I'll see you next time.